Hey, what is going on everybody? Skin here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back playing some more Football Manager uh, in the shadows. Let's play. Now, uh, we uh, we had a fairly quiet transfer window um, in the end, transfer deadline day. Not a lot happened. Um, had some offers for a youngster that we picked up very early on in this Let's Play. Um, let me just see if I can find him. Evans, down here. He was uh, previously at Stuttgart and got let go and we uh, and we picked him up. But as you can see, and you can probably see from here, a hell of a lot of championship clubs interested in him. Uh, they were offering up to about 500k. None of those offers were were full um, were full offers, but uh, you know, in terms of money straight up front. But you can see we've got a fair few uh, potential uh, youngsters. Unfortunately, these are the ones who are generally from from Tranmere, um, and we need to make sure we've got players that we can put in our squad who are home trained. Um, so, and we're struggling a little bit with that as is. Uh, okay, I've gone and picked the team. I've I've swapped these two round again. Rue is playing instead of Phillips because Phillips has picked up an injury, which is bad news. Everything else, pretty much the same. Uh, so let's get started. We're up against Scunthorpe, uh, and we're going to get straight into this one. Clear minds, off we go. Can we get three wins on the bounce? That's what we need. Can we get it is the question. I'm going to guess probably not. We're not that consistent. Corner ball though. Oh, Uda's there. Over the head of Rua, who normally would have been Phillips heading that one. Um, but uh, ball bounced in the six-yard box. That's never, never good. Or just outside the six-yard box. And there he was. Uda with the finish. 1-0 up. Okay, 15 minutes gone. It's fairly even. In fact, they've had more of the ball. Oh, we're up against Notts County. I thought we were up against Scumthorpe. Whoops. Um, they've had more of the ball. Another corner. This one's cleared away. It is there again. Back out to him. It's thundering and lightning again. There's Ganches. There's Ming Yang. Bednar bursting into the box. He's finished it. Get in. What's that? His third goal of the season. Should score more in this team, I think. But... Uh, We'll take it. Gives us a little bit of daylight, but uh, we all know how well that's gone for us over the last few games. Did well, though. Finding that bottom corner. Just stroked it into that bottom corner. Get in. Another corner. We're dangerous from these, but then so are they. Oh, God. Come on, boys. Get back. They're in behind us. Good save keeps. Not sure what that tackle was from Ganchez. Had a huge number of offers in for Ganchez as well. Uh, all around the 500k mark. I kept telling them I wanted one and a half million uh, with salons and, and all sorts. And they were withdrawn instantly. And then they came back again the week later with the same the same offer. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was that was kind of just ignored. Another corner. It's in. It's got to be in. Rigu's there with his goal. They are not handling these corners very well. Uh, I think that's three goals and two of them, if not three of them, have come from corner. Right, One might be sort of after it had been cleared, but uh, get in, boys. We absolutely take a lead of three goals into half time, And having both our strikers score, love it. Let's get back out there. May make some changes fairly early in the second half. Uh, maybe to one of the strikers, just get one of those to rest up a little bit because we clearly need them. They're the reason we started winning again, I think. Okay, let's have a little look. So we're going to bring on Gaydu for Regu and we're going to bring on uh, Ricucci for Christophe Ufu or the other way around. Okay, a couple of changes. About 10 minutes left. What else have we got? Thranko, Banks, Owens. Let's bring you on and give Bednar a bit of a rest. Uda's there. Back out to Buxton. There's the cross. Gaydu, Owens, drills it across. Uda's there again. I don't know how many goals we've had like that where it's kind of 
bobbled around a little bit in the box and we've been the ones to react. Fourth goal of the season for Uda. Owens did well and it kind of just bounced straight to uh, to Uda's feet. And there's the finish, 4-0 up. Good work, everybody. Last couple of minutes. Free kick. Can we make it five? No. Can they make it? Oh, God. I think they can. Look how many men they've got running forward. We're not going to get a clean sheet in this one as well. Well done, Cole. And we still don't keep a clean sheet, for goodness sake, boys. Rubbish. I thought we had this one, you know. Genuinely thought we had a clean sheet. They hadn't done anything all game. And well, that happened. Yeah, he's onside, okay. There's the throw in straight to them. Ganches with the header. Gaydu, Cole, Minyang. Cole out to Owens. <laughs> Not the best pass I've ever seen from Owens. Here they come again. Just blow the whistle, ref. We don't need to see this. Nice foul by Cole. They're in again. Straight into the keeper's hands. And that should do it, I think. There we go. Get in. We scored four goals. Still couldn't keep a clean sheet, but we will, uh, we'll take that. Look at the confidence. Looking very good. Next up, we're up against uh, Crawley. Where are Crawley? Right down the bottom of the table here. Where were Notts County pushing for a playoff place? So catapulted into fourth place just behind Mansfield. I know he could do the rest, but I think he's going to have to to keep playing. Okay. Norwich manager keeping an eye on Pedro Ganches. They just kept offering, and every time I told them I wanted more money, they just said no thanks, and then reappeared again. It was a real pain in the backside. Okay. Thankfully, it didn't seem to unrest anyone, which is good, um, because normally in that situation, you can see we've got a couple more players on loan. Not very good, so we'll let them. Uh, we'll let them head off. Okay. So we're just going to, I guess, put a cut in here and we'll uh, we'll head back to the uh, the next game against Crawley. Okay, so we are back. Uh, we've had to make a change. Uh, Rego is is injured, so we've brought Crossan in. Uh, Gaydu was on the bench. Um, but uh, other than that, I think it's pretty much our strongest team. So we're ready to go. We're up against Crawley, who are sitting uh, right near the foot of the table. Um, but uh, we need to just worry about ourselves and continue... Uh, getting the results. See if we can get another win, making it what four on the bounce, maybe. Buxton with the throw. There's Uda, Uda, <laughs> and that's a penalty. I think somehow he was pushed. Lewis is taking it. Lewis finds the corner. One nil up. Four minutes gone. We will absolutely take that. Eighth goal for our loney Lewis. Um, we will take that lead. Tidy little penalty. Right into that bottom corner. Good work. Okay. Another corner. Ganches. Ooh. Almost. Almost. Okay. Come on, boys. There's Buxton. Ball across. We don't get there and it's cleared away. Ganchez picks it up though. Good first touch. And out to Lewis. Some space for Ricciucci. Doesn't use it. Nice little overlap. I like that. It's nice. There's Cole. Out to Bednar. He's got a second goal in as many games. Get in. And you're right. You do not save those. Bottom corner. Last one was just calmly stroked into that bottom corner. This one with a little bit more force. But just as accurate. Cole did well. One touch and then smashes it home. Keeper on his knees, just watching it into that bottom corner. Okay, 2-0 up. 
This time we've got a throw in. Ming Yang picks it up. There's Lewis. There's Ricci. There's the ball across. Bednar's there. Udder's there. He's hit the post. Unlucky. You may have noticed that Udder, Udar, Udar's name has changed every time I've said it. I apologise. Okay, this time it's cleared away. Ganches is going to get there, though. And find Buxton. Back out to two men out there. Cole plays it across, and we've hit the post again. Unbelievable. Udar, Udder again. Udar. I don't know how I'm going to say it. Okay. There's Ming Yang. There's Bednar. Out to Ganchez and then Ricucci. Loses the ball and here they come this time. There is a ball on over the top. I think we're going to deal with that, thankfully. I think he might have been offside if he had gone for it. It's a nice ball out to Lewis. Lewis and Ricucci are playing well out on that wing. That's where a lot of our a lot of our play is happening. It's the ball into the box. Buxton's going to pick it up. There's Bednar. It's a good save. There's a finish. Ricucci. Udder is calling them all sorts of problems. Bednar did well. Great save by the keeper, but could only parry it into the bar for Ricucci. 3 0 up. 25 minutes gone. They don't really have an out ball at this moment in time when they were just passing it between their two centre halves. Okay, he's played long down the field. There's Bednar picking it up on the wing. Our crossing is in, crossing scored. His first goal in a long, long time. I think from memory. <laughs> We kept getting lots of emails saying that he's he's worried or we're worried about his lack of goal scoring. Get in. 4-0 up, 27 minutes gone. What the hell is happening? Can we keep a clean sheet? That's the big question. Another opportunity to get the ball forward. They can't deal with the crosses at the moment. Ricucci, oh my goodness. You know how I said you don't stop the Bednar ones? You definitely don't stop that one. Bosch fires past the keeper. 5 0, 35 minutes gone. Oh, here they come. Here goes our clean sheet. We all know it. It's happening right now. Ooh, effort, son. Little unlucky. Well. I'm so happy that I'll do the team talk myself rather than getting the assistant manager to do it. I only ever talk to them if they've really disappointed me or really impressed me. They're the only times. Okay, changes. I think we make that change in the middle. I think we make that change out there for now. I'm just conscious about keeping him as fit as possible. Ooh. Oh, there's the goal. We knew it was coming. Still no clean sheet. Little unlucky that the shot hit the bar and then fell out straight to the uh, straight to the striker. Make that change and let's carry on. All three subs have been used. Did my two strikers just change round or did I is that the change I made? I thought I was they'd swap round and I was moving them back to the other way, but I guess not. There's Owens. Just lost the ball. Here they come. Are they gonna make it five two? Yes they are. I'm pretty sure they are. Oh good save keeps. God damn it, at times we are so bad. 
Yes, they are. 5-2. We don't need to see that one again. We know how bad it was. Free kick for Lewis. Banks is there. Should have scored. Completely unmarked. Oh, God, they're in again. 5-3. What the hell is wrong with us? Seriously, this is ridiculous. Come on, boys. Let's see this one through. I don't understand how we can be struggling even though we were 5-0 up. Cole has kept that one alive. There's Banks. There's Cole again. Out to Owens. There's the ball across and there's a free kick to them. Gaydu tripped him up. And this should be the end of the game. Got a little bit a little bit squeaky bum time. But still, we got the win. And I guess the plus point is we don't have to uh, pay out any... Uh, any uh, any clean sheet bonuses? Um, an incredible 16 hours without a goal. You were you were very good. Okay, so we'll probably put a cut in here, and we'll be back for the Wickham game. Um, okay, so we are back, and we're about to take on Wickham at home. Um, we've got Rigu back. He is a little under the weather, I guess, um, in terms of. It's only at 91, but we're going to put him straight back in. We can we can sub him out if we need to. Everything else is the same, although Phillips is back in as well. Um, so hopefully we're back to our strongest team in theory. Let's hand over to the assistant and uh, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Another win would be amazing. Throw in from Lewis. Um Ricciucci there. One thing I want to do, actually, in, and I haven't really thought about... Oh, my Lord, Cole. Um, and I haven't really thought about so far is contracts and trying to get the players that we have tied on for, for longer contracts. Uh, I know that Regu's got, like, a buyout clause. He's literally only just signed, so I don't think we're going to be able to do anything. Ideally, what I'd like to happen is for Regu to to leave his assistant... Uh, sorry, his agent, and then us offer him a contract because his agent is an ass. Um, but uh, I think that's all we can do is just to see what happens. Free kick from Cole. Oh, it's a penalty. Somehow it's a penalty. Who's taking it? Lewis is taking it. After the last one, he coolly stroked into that bottom corner. What way is he going this time? The other way. Keeper went the right way this time, but uh, finds the corner again. Ninth goal of the season for a fullback, although he was playing out on the wing for a fair period of uh, of this season. Ten minutes gone. We are two nil up. Who's up with the goal kick? There's Lewis. Brings it down well. Ganchez just never looks comfortable. Okay. We're playing around at the back. Looking for an opening. There's Cole. There's Ming Yang. There's Ricciucci. He's going to get tackled. Oh. How did they manage to keep hold of that? Seriously? And they've played a ball in. They're in behind. A good save keeps. <laughs> Don't really know how they managed to keep the ball down here. One bloke just levered it at the other one's face. As you can see, we've got no one on the posts for these corners. Whether that be wise or not, I don't know. Phillips with the header clear. Okay, 20 minutes gone. After a very busy start, not a lot's happened. Oh, Ganchez was there with the header over the bar. He should probably score more goals the amount of good deliveries we get into the box. I have to say, Lewis has been great this season. I'd love to be able to keep him, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Phillips. Oh, he's headed it against the bar. It's another corner. Wickham have gone more attacking. Cole with the corner. Phillips is almost there. Oh, wow, he's... He's got there and then not passed it for Cole for some reason. Okay, here they come. Walsh with the free kick. 
It's a penalty. I think that was Phillips. What a time to score for them just before half time. Come on, keeps. That's not quite what we were looking for, keeps. Kind of hoping you'd push it away from goal rather than just into goal, but that's fine. <laughs> Rubbish. Okay. Need to need to concentrate, get into half time with a lead and then focus and no clean sheet this time round either. Okay. Come on boys. Need a goal from one of our strikers really to uh to just give us that little cushion again. That'd be great. Chuchi has picked up a knock. I think we're gonna make the change. No point playing him out there if he's if he's injured. I think we might make this change as well. You know what? Crossan came on and got the goal, so I think we'll make that change there. We'll start the last game and got the goal, so we'll give him a run out. Come on, boys. You know what, that's fine. We'll go very defensive and hope we can hold on. Um, might not get the feeling this is going to come back and bite me in the backside, but... Waste a little bit of time at the end there. Bring on some fresh legs. No more chances, please. Just blow the whistle. We've got a corner right at the end. This should be it. Oh, Phillips, that should have been it. It's a goal kick, but that should be the last kick of the game or the header of the game. And there we go. Another win. It's free on the bounce. Um, just try and focus their minds a little bit on that one. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's call it here then. Thank you so much for watching. Um, bruised ankle, so nothing too bad. We are still in fourth place three points behind Yeovil uh, on the same games played. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Game, and we will see you again soon. Thank you. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars.